Hello everyone, it's me again, Marie Valdu, and welcome back to my channel. I am your Cebuana real estate broker, and we'll talk about 10 fast facts you need to know about a real estate broker. Maraming nagtatanong sa akin kung paano pa ang function, paano ba yung trabaho ng isang real estate broker. So ito guys, i-share ko sa inyo para makatulong. Okay, but before that, please subscribe my YouTube channel and then hit the bell button to be updated on my upcoming videos. So ito na. Or she is a holder of a baccalaureate degree so at least he is a graduate of a four-year course if you're a graduate of ESREM then you are qualified to be a real estate broker pag hindi naman real estate management yung course mo and then four-year college graduate ka so pwede kang mag earn 72 units mag enroll ka lang sa ESREM and then makakatake ka na ng broker's exam. Number two is at least she has taken and passed the PRC licensure examination for real estate brokers. So, lahat ng mga real estate brokers sa gaya ko is nag-undergo kami ng broker's licensure exam. So, mayroon din kami mga reviews kagaya ng other professionals. We are board passer of the exam. So, hindi kami pwedeng tatawagin na real estate broker pag hindi ka nakapas ng licensure exam for real estate brokers. Now, number three, she or he is a holder of a PRC issued real estate broker's ID license. So, we call that PIC. Mayroon ako video dyan kung how to renew your PIC ID. I-share ko din yung link on the description below para alam nyo kung paano mag-renew ng license nyo if you are a real estate broker already. The number four, she or she is continually attending seminars, trainings within the span of three years in compliance with PRC's continuing professional development or we call it subsidy program. We have to earn 45 credit units in compliance with our license. So, kailang abot ka ng 45 CPD credit units para makapag-renew ng license. Wala kang for 45 credit units, hindi ka makapag-renew ng license. But mayroong undertaking yung PRC until December 31 this year lang na pwede kang mag-undertaking kahit wala kang 45 units. But ngayon, kailangan mo lang ng 15 units before kasi 45 units talaga kailangan. Ngayon, 15 units lang. Binaba iyan nung nag-start yung COVID. Pero ngayon, pag wala ka talagang 15 units para makapag-renew ng license mo is kailangan mo lang mag-sign ng undertaking. And then, by the end of this year, kailangan mo ma-pass -ma yung CPD units. So, by earning CPD units, there are many ways to earn. Pwede kang mag-attend ng mga conventions, kailangan mo mag-attend ng mga business conference or mayroong mga activities na related sa real estate, makakagain ka ng credit units. So, ipunin mo yan lahat para makaabot ka ng 45 or 15 units na lang ngayon. Okay. Number 5, she or he is bonded by a surety bond in the exercise of his or her profession. So, bago mo ma-renew yung PRC license mo, or bago ka pa lang, you need to have a surety bond of 3,000 or 5,000. Magbabayad ka lang ng 2,000 para sa surety bond. And you are covered already for 3 years. Number 6 is he or she is bound by the rules of ethics of professionals. So, kailangan alam mo yung code of ethics being a real estate broker. You have to be guided by the code of ethics kasi pag hindi mo alam so wala kang guide kailangan talaga alam mo number 7 he or she is allowed to supervise 20 accredited real estate salesperson under his or her name so pag at least at, you are allowed to have 20 real estate salesperson under your name marami kang agent if you're a realty owner like me i am a realty owner so yung agents ko is more than 20 so kailangan kong mag-hire ng isang real estate broker and for me, meron akong agent din na real estate broker so kaya 
sa kanya ko naman ipinangalan yung other agencies under his name na we have to follow. And the number eight, he or she is a holder of a DSUD or HLURB before. But it was changed to the SSUD. We call it and this SSUD is Department of Human Settlement and Urban Development. After having your PRC license, kailangan ka talaga mag-apply din sa HLURB if you are engaged to a project selling. At CURB, kailangan mag-ID. Kukuha ka na naman ng another bond. You are bonded again for a surety bond in the exercise of your engagement of a project saling. Uh, hindi pwede tayong magbenta ng bahay pag hindi ka licensed at CURB. Hindi lahat ng developer is mag aas ng HLURB number if you are an accredited seller with HLURB and kailangan nila yung HLURB number mo bago ka makapag-reserve ng kanilang project. So, yan. Number 10, you have to be duly registered and licensed natural person who for a professional fee, commission, or other valuable in consideration acts as an agent of a party in a real estate transactions to offer, advertise, solicit, list, promote, mediate, negotiate, or affect the meeting the minds on the sale, purchase, exchange, mortgage, lease, or joint venture, or other similar transactions on real estate or any interest or in. So, yan yung 10 facts you need to know about real estate broker. So, now that you know, are you willing to deal and entrust your heart in investment to illegal and unlicensed practitioners in your real estate transaction needs? But not only that, you're enticing them to commit a crime punishable under RA 9646 otherwise known as the Real Estate Service Act of 2009 or we call it RESA Law to deal only with a legitimate broker so that you can have a peace of mind of your investment. So that's it and so guys if you like this video please give me a thumbs up share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe and then hit that bell button to be updated in my upcoming videos. Thank you so much for watching. This is your Cebuana Real Estate Broker serving you at my best. If hindi ka pa kayo nakapag-subscribe ng aking channel, you can uh, press that subscribe button and then hit that bell, the, the subscribe and hit that bell button.